All right, this is my basically my den. It's a box full of soap. And y'all wanted to see my den tour and it's a tub, so we're calling it a tub tour. All right, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm thinking about doing them and um, soap companies. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. All right, see you in a minute. All right, here is my um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Soaps. And uh, this is my first soap I ever bought from them. Because I was like, dude, fruit punch, can't go wrong. And then I bought this one actually too. And I bought that one. Um, could you believe it? That was like in 2017. <laughs> I looked it up at my um, um, my um, orderings. And then these ones, I kind of like them because they got the dates on them. This is the one I use the most. It's like half gone. But I love this scent. Mm, clown fruit. Of course you all know that. I use that in the video. Then I got these two. Which mix them together. They're the baby. Okay. There was a contest. And I was trying to go, go for this one. And I didn't win at all. Period. So I bought this up anyway. It, this soap smells really bad like incense. Um, it's not my fave, but I'm sending it to somebody. Um, I bought the lump of coal. It, it, it really does look like a lump of coal. I'm doing this one-handed. So, I would show you. Oh, is it open? Yeah, baby. See? Charcoal. Lump of coal. I was wondering if there's a way I could put light through it to see if I actually had a little diamond thing. Because that year, uh, nobody claimed it. I'm wondering if mine's in there or somebody else is like me that just kind of didn't open it. And this bad boy, I bought it because they're like, oh, we're not going to make tins no more. Still got the little tape around it. I never freaking opened it. And I just thought it was cool. <laughs> See, right there goes to show you that I'm a dumb butt and I'll buy something because of the label. Anyway, that's my um, Phoenix Artisans. Um, off to the next group. Alright, here's my a &E soaps. Curse Spartacus. Um, Kaizen, MIC. I love these ones. I like the aqua and the peach. I like this one. And I like the scent of this one. <laughs> I like the label of it. I bought this like, what, 2017? Um, yeah, I started putting yours on when I bought them. And then, of course, my Kaizen 2 bases. Yep, uh, there's my a &E, what I bought from A&E. Um, so, now off to the next one. <laughs> Alright, here's my next batch. My Noble Otters. Just got this one in. Can't wait to try it. Um, my first line shave ones. And my um, Barrister Man ones. This is the one I love. I know. A lot of people hate this. And then some just love it. I am one of the lovers. And this is a new one too. I'm going to try it. Alright. There's those three down. Alright, let's go to the next. Okay, um, these groupings from here are probably be one from the company. Or maybe two from the company. Um. Uh, yeah, this summer is kind of going through an orange phase. <laughs> I love this one though. I love orange scents. Um, I bought this one to try the company and I didn't like the smell so I didn't even attempt to try it. Um, this one, I love the smell. It's a nice cologne smell. These are uh, uh, new to me but they're reused. I haven't tried them yet. I love this one. Actually, this one smells just like a woman's um, perfume. But I shouldn't say that because y'all probably wouldn't buy it no more. But <laughs> I think it's summer scent. I have always wanted this one. And I seen somebody put it up for sale, so I bought it. I love this scent. Um, I just... I love the fact that it's a buffalo towel. You know, I just can't go wrong with that. For me, I've been trying this out to my tribe, but they laughed at me. Anyway, I wanted to try the duck fat, so I bought that one. This one, um, it looked cute label, but mm, mm, I'll try it maybe next year. I like this scent. Um, I love this Kodiak base. Um, think about getting the new ones this Friday. Uh, 
I love this. Um, yeah, it's a the grapefruit creeper scent, but um, they're putting it in this one tin. It's not the fancy limited edition stuff, but um, a little heads up, uh, Black Friday, um, they're gonna put some more of these out. Um, I don't know if it's this scent, but they're gonna put um, some of their uh, hard to get scents and some of these tins like this. So heads up if you're really into looking for something like that. Like I noticed some of them were saying coconut creeper. So here my Dr. John ones, the tins. So those were fun when I got them, but did yeah, a couple times I'm like Nye. put them in a the container. Put them in my tub. All right, off to the next grouping. Okay, next um, group. <laughs> All right, I bought this one to try it because everybody raves about this company. The scent didn't throw me, so yeah, it's sitting there. I'll eventually get to it. This one, I just thought it was cool because it smelled like metal. <laughs> I know, I'm a weird puppy. I love this scent. Ordered the aftershave, it's coming. I totally, really love this scent too. Um, you know I did a video on it. I like this scent too. I did a video on it. Um, I bought it just to try the base. It's good. Scent didn't throw me. But this scent, oh baby. This shit's the bomb. So, uh, this one's new for me. I just got it this week. Or was it last week? Friday? Yeah, this weekend. Anyway, got this one because uh, just to have it. Uh, Gusto. I love sweet scents. Bought this off of a filler I was selling his. Oh, I love this. I can't wait to use that one. Okay, JR. Um, buddy old pal. I know you love this scent. But I betcha this is what you smell like. It smells like beer and pumpkin. So, just eat some pumpkin bread. And I betcha this is what you smell like. Um, I know the base is good. Because same company as this bad boy. Alright. Next grouping. All right, here's my next groupings. I love citrus, so I got the citrus blast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a dork. I bought it just for the freaking name. And this was a gift from Craig. Um, I love this scent. Um, it smells sweet like sugar, grapes, like um, like a grape bubble gum. Oh yeah, got this one. I love the scent. It's citrusy. I love this amaretto. It's sweet. I love it. Um, debating if I was going to get the balm or not. But, yeah. Moon soaps, they're good. Did a video. I think I did. Um, smells like a dreamsicle. Aqua. I want, this is the one I bought. And a little bit later, I won one from Mel. And I sent it to uh, Colin. This is my first soap I've ever, ever bought. I freaking love that scent. Um, I bought it to try the company, and mm, this scent didn't throw me off the back. And I love the plague scent. This is the bomb. But, it, um, I don't know. I never tried it, but I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. Yeah, I didn't get to it. This one, I bought to try it. Didn't like it. If you notice, uh, <laughs> a lot of marijuana scents, uh, uh, bought that one. And, um, there's this company. Um, I wanted a raspberry scent. And it came in this, and it does smell exactly like that raspberry um, crap that comes in a can, you know, foam. <sighs> There's so much other better shit. So I just <laughs> been using everything else, and um, that guy. But anyway, um, what do I got left? These are all my singles. I think I'm gonna go to my <laughs> my set and uh, my whatnots. All right. Here we are with the sets. Um, I ran this from um, BBS Live. This is the first thing I've ever freaking won from them. Ever and ever. And relaxation. I like this scent. Some people say they need it stronger. But personally, I like it. It has a little bit of menthol in the bomb. This is what Craig gave to me. I used it a couple of times. I like this scent. Can't go wrong with the little razor rock. Um... IMCDB says this is a uh, great stuff, but because they're discontinuing it, and I did not like the scent, so it might be somebody's gift later in the future. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, about this one, it's okay, it's not great, but oh yeah, baby. Uh, about this one, I love this scent, it's a nice cool scent. Um, 
I bought it because I wanted cotton candy, and I got me some cotton candy going on. Um, if you want cotton candy, you might want to, um, I can't remember, is it, uh, Josh Chihuahua told me about it. His friend who had this company, um, I messaged him because the company was closing down, and I got that from Canada. And this is a gift from Craig when we did the meetup in Pocatello. Still got to use this. And of course, everybody has this one. The Warheads. I love this. This is the, I got the first batch where they had the menthol in the soap, which I, I personally like that. And then they gave me the menthol to put in it. But the after a splash has menthol in it. So, I like some menthol. I don't like heavy men of menthol because this is my first experiment. Technically, no, wait, I lie. This one had mint on it too, but second time. And this is my boyfriend's. Could I give it to him? He likes it because it has that skull of skull picture on it. Um, I'm going to get him to try to use that, Craig. I'm trying. Believe you me, I am trying my hardest to get his butt to shave. All right. Now let's check out um, what I got in my whatnots. All right, we're getting close to the end. All right, I bought these guys. Uh, never tried this company before, but it was like con candy shit shit, and it came in a cute little burlet bag. And this is a peppermint smelling. It smells like Christmas. And of course, I support people. It's upside down. <laughs> anyway, got that one. Um, yeah. I seen this, I was like, yeah, and I put it in my cart, and I, uh, uh, it's, you just get itty bitty bit. I did a video on it. Um, these are my three, four, fives. Um, I like the scent of this one. Damn. Uh, this is a nice summer scent. I got a perfume that smells like that, kind of, and, um, it works great for summertime. Nice. Cologne scent. Anyway, this is my whatnot box. Uh, this is, a. Uh, a tip up that I got from, it's a cream, that I won from Millie Mel, and this was a free gift from West Coast Shaving. Um, I went to Bath and Body Works, I was going to try this, and it smells really like gum, and I just, mm, couldn't bring myself to do it. And I um, support my local business, I bought this from them, and she says, you're going to smell like an almond cookie. <laughs> when she told me that, I bought it in supporters, five bucks, and yeah, that's where it sits. Um, my little travel one. Um, bar soap I picked up. I love that sun um, from TJ Maxx. Um, what do I have here? I got a cube. This is the one I cut in half. It's a menthol. And then um, a soap that Craig gave me. And when I ran out of soaps, I got me a hand soaps here. And then I got me some cubes. This is my peach backup for my backup that I want to hold on to for right now bust it out next year and then um you know jr got to get to try it in a basic cube and i i gave a i had another cube i gave it to colin and i hope he's using it and that sucker takes a long time for me to go through all right that's my whatnot box and i got samples all right off to sampleville all right, we are basically at the end of this bad puppy. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are my sterling samples. They're um, a one ounce sample. I put them in a 50 uh, milliliter container. And the little labels fit on them perfectly. Just wish I could find one a little thinner so I could stack them better. But these are my sterling samples. Um, I got them, I'm like, yeah, damn, baby, I want to, like, tear up with all these samples. Then people started putting up more crap, and then I started kind of pushing eating a little bit to the side. But they're still good stuff, and don't get me wrong, I still pick one up every so often. But uh, here we are to my other samples. Um, I put it in this little container. This is, like, my roll of reference one. Um, yeah, declaration came out, and I bought these from Maggards. I uh, love their samples. And this is the buffalo towel. I was I did a video on it. It's in my archives if you want to go look. Uh, but you don't have to. Uh, anyway, um, some more samples. I love samples. Um, what I like to do is like all the mega ones. Um, I'll buy the samples, pull them out, sniff them, and put them in order that what I like the best to the one I least, least like. This is uh, basically the way I found out I do not like leather. <laughs> um, yeah, my samples. 
Um, I bought all these six samples. I did a video on it. Um, I'm glad that they're changing their labels now to being fancier little labels to tell them apart because the only way you can tell these apart is by writing on the back. And these are my Murphy McNeil samples. I like them. And my Phoenix Artisan samples. Um, like those too. And I keep it in a scrapbook box because it's thin enough and it stores away pretty good. And got some more samples of whatnots that I got that I need to try. Um, yeah. And I need to get through those. And then I have this little guy with all my aftershave samples that get sent to me. I'm kind of glad I'm doing this little tub tour because I got to situate everything. Because before it was just all kind of thrown in a... They're all strung here and there and everywhere. But now, it's all organized. And that is technically an official... Uh, my tub tour. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was kind of long. I want to cut and clip it together. It'll probably only be like a couple minutes for y'all. Alright, until next time. See ya, I'm out.